I'm taking orders. Do you like your, your bacon crispy or chewy? We have done 24 hour stealth camps at fast food restaurants, in small towns, and big plazas, but this will be the first big box store stealth camp, 24 hours living at Costco. We are going to be buying food for lunch, dinner, and snacks, as well as buying food for our first ever cooking breakfast in my van. I'll also be showing you what's inside the mystery box. The unveiling. If this van life stealth camp adventure sounds like an exciting video that you want to watch, then grab something to eat, sit back, and enjoy this video. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, today we are in the sunny, partly cloudy city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada, and we are at Costco. A bunch of you guys have asked me to do a Costco 24 hours. So it is noon. We are going to go into the Costco and uh, get some food before we do anything today. I definitely need some some grub, and I think I'm going to do the pizza for for lunch. Yeah, pizza and a drink. Definitely going to do a poutine later on, hot dogs. Uh, they got tons of food. Um, and then we're going to buy some food later on for breakfast. So um, I'll find that really nice juicy spot somewhere in this huge parking lot. This is like the best spot for right now. And also might be a really good spot for stealth camping later on. Because I'm like right up against a fence. I've got uh, this garden right here. So this might be a great spot to stealth camp. It's just kind of out of the way and I uh, won't be interfering with anybody. So number one, food. Number two, as soon as we finish eating up, then we're gonna open up the mystery box. Sorry I didn't do it in the last two videos. Again, I was waiting for a really nice sunny day. Try to leave a comment in the comment section below guessing what is in that box. I'm gonna go into Costco, get some food, come back here and eat it with you. Let's go. Very big lineup, but uh, hopefully it moves fast. That would look great and rusty, wouldn't it? Nice. We're not here to look at TVs, we're here to eat. I have never done this before. This is the first for me. Um, so we got wings, chicken strips, poutine, add-ons, fries, Polish sausage, beef hot dog, big pizzas, ice cream. Uh, I think I'm gonna do soy sauce, a drink, regular fries, can you believe the prices? That's awesome. Six bucks. <laughs> and a pop. Thank you. As I'm walking to my car, the seagulls are out in force. They're literally hovering over me. The top plate blew off my fries. I've got the plate down here. And of course the seagulls can see the fries and I think they're aggressive. So we need to get to the van as fast as possible. We're gonna lose fries. All right guys, made it safely back to the car. No issues with the Seagulls. I'm gonna take this off because it is very, very hot in here. Uh, let's go with the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? And I am definitely looking forward to this stealth camp stay and cookout. Again, we're gonna be cooking breakfast in the parking lot in the morning. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that's how everything pans out. Oh my goodness! Look at this meal we have laid out before us. We've got our Pepsi cup, but inside is the mug root beer. And then we've got this beautiful, greasy, 
tasty. Look at that puddle right there. Slice of pizza they cut in two. I prefer it not to be cut. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I like it as one big slice. And then over here, we've got those golden crunchy fries. I can't wait to do the poutine later. It's gonna be a carb day. Good thing I brought my bike. I'm gonna have to work off all this food. Let's do a quick sip of our mug. Ah, that stuff's good. French fries. Like I said, crunchy on the outside. What I noticed though, is they took off the sandwich that they used to have there. And I can't remember, I think it was like on rye bread and the sandwich was amazing. And there, I did the um, the Costco food challenge, the food court challenge, where you order everything on the menu and try to eat as fast as you can. And they had the sandwich back then. So somewhere along the line, maybe because of COVID, they took it off the menu. I don't know. I have no idea. Anybody who works for Costco Canada, let us know in the comments below why the sandwich is missing because the sandwich is fantastic. Let's see if we can get a couple fries. But they're lovely. With a bit of ketchup for sure. Oh my. Fingers are already saturated. Pull this pizza apart since it's already cut. And indulge. Look at the size. Let me fill up the screen, shall we? Oh yeah. Is that not a beautiful sight? There was a dripping. Couldn't. I like their pizza. And for the price, you can't beat it. Got your shopping cart all full. Reward yourself with a nice snack from the food court. Mug root beer is pretty good, man. Now we got some Dunkin' action happening. There's a lot of fries. If you like ketchup on your fries, I, rem I recommend maybe getting six packages. I asked for two. Although Rusty has an extra one. Way to go, Rusty. I'm going to polish off the rest of this food and then we'll open the box. All right, guys, here it is. The mystery box, the unveiling. The big unveiling. Oh goodness, a box inside a box. And as you can see, it is the Jackery solar panel, 100 watt. Again, guys, I researched this company to death, saw so many other people using this product and uh, I reached out to them and after I bought the 500 and uh, told them how much I am looking forward to using their products and they appreciated the fact that I made a video on YouTube and shouted them out and so they said can we send you a solar panel I'm like hell yeah so thanks again Jackery for sending me this beautiful solar panel I just cannot wait to start charging my Jackery 500 when I'm on location it's kind of like a, one of those art portfolios we got some uh, Jackery information, solar panel, user guide. Another, if I register it, uh, I get 12 months of warranty, an extra 12 months of warranty. But this is it, guys. So like I said, it looks like a portfolio and it's held together by magnets. So you pull it apart and there's your solar panel right there. And then on the back, over here, we've got a little pouch and it's got some wires and stuff plug straight in to your Jackery 500. So if you're out camping or something and you bring your solar panel and there's no power outlets to plug your, your phone into, you can plug your phone right into this and have it set up and it will charge your phone without having any type of uh, AC power around. And on this side too is another leg for it to stand up. And we're gonna hook that up to our Jackery 500. So I purposely used up some of my Jackery at home and uh, it's down to 66%. So we're gonna plug it in for an hour and uh, we'll see how well it does. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna shut this off. I had my GoPros charging, I had my um, drone batteries charging, but now I'm gonna unplug everything and we're gonna set, set this up. So the sun is pretty much right above us right now 
So I'm just going to lay this out, take out the cable, open this up, just lay it on the ground, and we just plug it in and see what happens. There we go. So it'll tell us how many watts that it's getting from that solar panel. Right now it's 73 watts. Not sure if you guys can see it, it's quarter after two, and we're getting 73 watts. So we'll see how long it takes to get to, uh, let's say, uh, 76 percent and then we'll get an idea of how fast the solar panel charges i believe you can also have your stuff plugged in and charging so if the sun was more over that way we could lift this up and then pull these little legs out pull the velcro off pull the leg out i think it'd be better if we laid it down more personally like this yeah that's what we're going to do and that's pretty much aimed right at that beautiful sun and of course that big clouds coming that's not going to be good i'm going to tear these down and uh, we'll find a garbage bin around here somewhere and get rid of it again one of my favorite things about doing youtube is sometimes i'll show you guys a problem or a mistake i made and then you guys swoop in to save the day and teach me how to fix things so as you remember I was saying that I messed up and put the one upside down because when I first got the GoPro, uh, I just put a one on it because I knew I was going to get two more batteries. And then when I got the two new batteries, I realized they go in this way and not this way. So the one was upside down. And one of our awesome subscribers by the name of Keith said, hey, Ken, if you get a dry erase marker and rub it all over a Sharpie, uh, it dissolves the ink and then you can rewrite we won so check this out thanks keith look at that the one is on the right way and i can do that take out my number two put that in my gopro good to go thanks keith you rock well as you can see it's quarter after three the sun keeps going behind clouds off and on it looks like it's starting to try and peek out and when it's behind a cloud it drops it dropped all the way down see the sun's coming out so now the wattage is going up so it went all the way down to like 13 when the cloud was really thick and uh, as you can see it's just kind of jumping all around looks like the sun is kind of one well it's definitely behind the cloud a little bit but uh once that sun comes out to full brightness then we should be getting a lot more you can tell when the sun's coming out more by how much more wattage you get so we're up to 45 watts 47 come on 50 nice and uh yeah we only got up to 73 percent from 66 in an hour but again we keep getting these clouds and see it drops all the way down but what i would like to do in the near future is unplug it and then put it put it on the roof and hopefully i wouldn't forget that it's on the roof let's see if we can do this with you guys throw it on the roof run the cable through the window plug it back in and uh, get some wattage again I'd angle it a bit more maybe even put it under here just so it lies really flat and uh, people won't be able to see it very well this isn't a mountable one this is a portable one it can't be out in the rain you can't submerge it and uh, yeah so that's that's pretty stealthy you'll be able to shut the door and uh, it probably wouldn't blow away I'm gonna go for a walk I'm gonna take the car for a drive I'll take the solar panel down for sure and that's gonna do a little drive around see if they have like a, a cardboard um, recycling bin uh, on the other side uh, so I'm gonna see if I can get rid of those I broke them all down and then we'll just go for a walk I'm not gonna go for a bike ride I did a big bike ride yesterday and uh, today is just gonna go for a walk did a big walk around Costco and just in case you were wondering 
takes uh, 17 minutes, almost 18 minutes. But I was going up and down aisles just to add more distance. So I walked a total of 1.4 kilometers and burned around 85 calories. That's not a whole lot. But let's go back into Costco and we will be grabbing one of those uh, ice creams in the waffle cone. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, yeah. Swirl. I'm glad I went with chocolate vanilla swirl. It is so creamy and delicious and cooling. Cheers. This is going to be one of those very high calorie. 24 hour stealth camps. Made it back to Rusty. I'm going to finish this off, then we'll plug in the solar panel again, see if we can get some more juice into that. The sun seems to be out and available. Might as well use it. It's a nice shady spot behind the van. It's all this grassy area all the way down the other side. I'm gonna finish this off before it melts too much. That's good ice cream, man. Good item. Found a good spot right here. And uh, we've got a tree blocking the sun for the van to keep the van cool, but just enough sun to have my solar panel charging. And in the direct sunlight, we're getting 71 watts and we're up to 74%. Once again, it is uh, 418. So we'll check back at 518 and see how much more power that solar panel gives us. And there were no garbage cans around or recycling bins that were accessible for me. So since this window is open, I'll probably just, just jam them down. Jam them down here until I get home and we'll put them in the recycling. All nice and tidy time to kick back and relax for a bit this is the life hanging out Costco eating Costco food 24 hours Move the van one more time. Now I'm back to kind of where I did the test where that guy was is. And so I put my solar panel there. Uh, it is 5.03 and the Jackery is pulling in 68 watts. So we're up to 81%, which is awesome. Again, free electricity. Gotta love the free electricity. So basically in an hour we've gained uh, another, there you go, another 10%, I guess. So we're getting about 67 watts as the sun's going down. I guess it's uh, getting less powerful, even though it seems to be just as hot. The sun's still up there pretty high, I think. But uh, yeah, it's time to eat before they uh, close down the kitchen. Let's see, definitely gonna do that poutine. And we'll do the Polish sausage and another drink. Place for order. 673? Yeah, uh, definitely want mustard. Two mustard would be fine, I think that'd be it. How many uh, just uh, one, please. Thank you. All set up, let's go in for a close up. Not bad for eight bucks. Going in this time we definitely did a Pepsi. I love Pepsi with my poutine. And here we are, look at those huge cheese curds and those amazing famous Costco fries. And you can even see the spices of that gravy they dump on there. Yeah, man, so you put the, you put the fries in first, then you throw your cheese curds on then that piping hot 
gravy doesn't that look amazing and over here we have our polish sausage and our destroyed bun and we've got a couple packs of french's mustard let's put this all together and have a great dinner let's have a big sip first oh nice and cold i am going to dig up some of these i'm going to try some of this cheese oh, look at the size of that cheese curd ladies and gentlemen One of the very, very first food reviews I ever did was the Costco poutine. If you ever come up to Canada, make sure you grab a Costco poutine. Over to the Polish sausage. I wish they had like sauerkraut and stuff. That's what I really like on my Polish sausage. Sauerkraut and yellow mustard. That's all I need to make my Polish dog taste great. Let's put some mustard on there. Here we go, squeezing that beautiful French's mustard all over that Polish dog. I think I counted right. Two packs will fit this dog just perfectly. Pack number two. Extreme close up. Oh, yummy. Who loves mustard on their dogs? I think it's uh, most people frown upon the whole ketchup and dogs, but I definitely like mustard. What do you think? You can scratch it, you can sniff it, but the rest is mine. Juicy, meaty, tasty, yummy. Just the way I like it. Last bite of that juicy dog. Lots of poutine left, let me tell you. Most people share this. <laughs> She's like, how many forks would you like? Oh, it's one. Look at that bite. Canadian bite right there. All done dinner, it was fantastic. For $8, it's a lot of food. Uh, but again, you can probably share that whole thing with somebody. And also I ordered an extra cup by accident. Um, I noticed as she put, gave it to me, and then I asked her, I'm like, I don't need two cups. I didn't order two, two drinks. And she's like, it comes with the, uh, the hot dog. So that was my mistake. But so yeah, for eight bucks, you could definitely cut that dog in half and or that Polish sausage in half and share the poutine, two people, easy eight bucks, uh, four bucks each. Good dinner, good lunch, snack, whatever. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna wait till uh, a lot of these people clear out of this parking lot and try to find like the best stealthiest spot we can find uh, without being <laughs> endangering our lives parking in the wrong spot. So I like to be somewhere in somewhat of a trafficy area just to stay safe. <laughs> back to the stealth camper uh, I did like a three and a half kilometer walk and we are up to over 10,000 steps for today which is definitely gonna help curb those calories that we ate and as you can see this parking lot is almost empty I think there's one car there one car there and there's a car going by but uh, everything else is totally empty so I'm gonna try maybe and park a little bit closer to the travel spot just so it looks like that. Maybe I'm a traveler, <laughs> maybe sleeping in my car. I don't know. Let's go try and find the best spot we can find and uh, hit the hay. Beautiful sunset, people. Look at that. Oh, it makes me feel like I'm on holiday. The sun setting down. We just need a beach, margarita or something. 
See, this is a nice big spot. I think we're gonna just park it here. We're still on the Costco property. There's no sign saying no overnight parking. So I think this would be the best place. I might turn it around. I like the back end against possibly that foliage. Nobody, nobody here. Let's set up a few stealth windows. Got the Jackery charging my phone, charging my GoPro batteries. This battery has got to get in as soon as I shut this camera off. And it's pulling 15 watts to charge this and my phone, which is pretty small, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's put up our, oh, look at the sunset. Oh my goodness. Blinds, all of our window coverings. We can get some privacy in here. Like a glove. Perfect. A few more to go, and we're stealth mode. One of the things uh, my wife gave me for Rusty but she gave me this burlap type window covering. And uh, she said, uh, you can use this for Rusty and that will create somewhat of a barrier between the outside and my inside here. Once I put that up and that up, it's gonna get dark real fast. There you go, all stealthed up. Window one, two, three four and five and uh, right now i'm just using my headlamp as a light because that's all i got right now uh i've got the fan going on medium because it is still pretty warm in here i almost want to like open up the windows and doors for a little bit longer but i definitely don't want uh to draw attention to myself it's nine o'clock p.m so i probably have some time for some TikTok maybe a Netflix episode or two, and uh, again, we'll hit the hay, and then we'll see you guys in the morning. decided to sleep in because at uh, 4 30 I heard of my first thunder clap so I figured uh, the sunrise was not gonna happen I videotaped a couple lightning I didn't see any strikes but you could just see the lighting up of the sky so uh, that woke me up but other than that I had a good sleep it is overcast and cloudy. The gas truck just showed up here and at the gas station. So until until it opens up, I guess I'm just gonna see if I can get maybe another hour of sleep. That would be nice. Just one more hour. Just one more hour, please. Well guys, it is 8 a.m. I'm going to change and uh, take down I'll take these down once I change, but uh, the parking lot's slowly filling up. And again, I'm pretty sure they open up at nine. All changed, fresh clothing. Let's get these stealth windows down. That one's down, down, down. Before we go for a walk, I really wanted to try to make my own coffee in the van. Uh, so I'm gonna use this as my table, so my cooking stuff. So this is, um, I think it's called Grosch. It's uh, an espresso maker. So the other thing I forgot uh, is a uh, mug, a coffee mug. Give that to there. 
Costa Rica coffee. I grind my own beans. Open this up, take off the bottom, and you fill, uh, pull, fill this with water up to the valve. And then you get out your coffee. I'm gonna put, this is a six cup espresso maker. Uh, just again, you have to like experiment on the how, how much coffee you wanna put in it. I'm gonna put two scoops. And you're not supposed to pack it down. So you have to make sure that there's no coffee grinds on the inner seal there, which will cause the seal not to be perfect. So put it there. So it takes about seven, uh, seven to eight minutes for it to start boiling. And then the coffee will start to push up through the center, which is very strange. And then fill up the top. And then once smoke starts coming out, steam, uh, then you take the heat off and uh, remove your coffee. Again, I'm gonna have to have my coffee in this cup. I'm hoping that that's fine. And here she comes. You just have to be careful because it could start sputtering and spattering all over the place. So you just make sure the lid's closed. And once it starts to steam, then we'll reduce the heat and we'll shut it off. You can smell that coffee in here. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Costa Rica bean coffee is awesome. So that's probably done. As you can see, the steam coming out of there turn off the gas I'm gonna pour it in here so good morning everyone check out how much steams coming off that coffee I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer all right I think it's time yeah it's perfect good morning guys we'll see you in a bit just sitting here enjoying this beautiful morning I thought it was gonna be a crappy thundery rainy morning but this is just amazing the Sun is shining having a nice cup of joe and i think i think the internet's wrong once again guys uh because there are people coming out with shopping carts it is like 8 30 so they must open uh maybe they've changed their hours again now they're open at eight o'clock in the morning on a monday because that parking lot is at least half full and uh it is 8 37 so i'm gonna uh, sip up my coffee real quick and then we'll go in there and get some food all right, all done the coffee. Let's go Costco shopping for breakfast. Can't wait to get the iPhone 12 Max. That's my next upgrade. Got those pre-cooked chickens. Check this out. Maple chipotle back ribs. Wow. How much is that? 22 bucks. Nice. So, we got free run eggs or organic free range. I think these are better for the chicken, better for us. I just remembered we're almost out of avocados at home. Another one of my super foods. I usually eat one, one avocado every day. No soda. I don't want no soda. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Four pounds of bacon. <laughs> Time to use the bag. Got everything in the one bag. All right, thank you. So what I'm gonna do is put uh, all the stuff that needs to be refrigerated into my little refrigerator. I'll take out all the things I need. So I'm going to put my avocado they don't need to be refrigerated but i'm just going to put that there for now i take out three eggs which i'm going to be cooking right now i'll put the rest actually i'm going to put them on the bottom we'll take out one of the packs of bacon put the rest in here so now we got our cooking surface got our bacon got our eggs we got our pot our pan and i'm thinking we'll cook like three strips of bacon and then I'll just transfer the bacon into a bowl. I do have a plate in here, there it is. Got my plate, got my knife, my fork. This could possibly come in very handy if I need to touch this thing. So I'm gonna have to use my fork and my knife to turn, to turn the, the bacon. This'll be a first. 
cooking bacon and eggs in my van. Let's go four strips of bacon. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a messy meal. Pan's too small, don't have tongs. <laughs> oh geez. Nice crispy bacon. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh cooked bacon in a van. Yep. I'm taking orders. Do you like your, your bacon crispy or chewy? I'm thinking my bacon's pretty much done the way I want it. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely have a big mess to clean up later. It's good enough for me. Let's let it cool down and just finish the eggs off. Put our bacon up here. If I got this out properly, I'll be amazed, okay. I'm amazing myself at the moment. There we go, people. First time. <laughs> cooking bacon and eggs in the van. What do you think? What do you think? Check it out. Not bad. Got some stuff to clean up later on, but let's enjoy this feast. Just need some salt and pepper. Didn't have any pepper, but at least I got salt. Gotta salt up my eggs. Cheers. Mmm. Free run eggs. Crispy bacon. So let me know in the comments below if you've cooked breakfast in the back of a van. I bet a few of you have. You van lifers out there. You do this kind of stuff all the time. Although it's a very messy meal to do in your van, definitely worth trying at least once if it was pouring rain I'd have to rethink this there's no way I'm gonna ever cook bacon in my car with the windows almost all the way done up that wouldn't be good all done my breakfast now we're gonna go for a walk. After I kind of tidy this up a little bit so things don't fall over, uh, we'll go for a walk and then we'll go hit up uh, lunch back in Costco. Made it back, I did uh, 40, one minute walk as of now, 3.66 kilometers, and I've earned 235 calories. 10.35, definitely not close enough to lunch to grab that. So uh, we'll just hang out here, do some social media stuff, and then we'll grab lunch. Well, it's lunchtime, last meal of the day. Let's go get it. That's me. Sweet and sour honey mustard or barbecue? Uh, honey would be great, thank you. And sure. would you like barbecue or hot Costco wings? Uh, let's go barbecue, please. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Not a whole lot of choices. I'm going to go with uh, Mug Root Beer again. Made it back to the car. I set it all up for you guys. Let's go in for a close-up. Here is our last meal at Costco for a while. 
Uh, I went with the mug root beer and the Pepsi glass once again. Over here we got our chicken uh, strips and fries. And I went with the, the honey mustard. Uh, I prefer honey, but uh, honey mustard will have to do. And over here we got, supposed to be 10 wings. It looks like they gave us more than 10 wings, which is awesome. And then I went with the honey barbecue. Again, I'm a honey kind of guy. Honey barbecue sauce. Once again, we'll start off with our mug root beer in the Pepsi cup. Those are the only two choices, really. Everything else was not working, so I had to do one of them twice. Honey mustard. Look how slimy that looks. Mm -hmm. That looks like two, but they're somehow stuck together. I'm going to pull that apart so I can manage it a little bit easier. There we go. It was like they were frozen, which they probably were, and then thrown into the vat of oil. Crunchy chicken. Good chicken strips. I mean, this honey mustard sauce is fantastic. Again, I prefer straight up honey, but this will do. Do some more of these amazing french fries. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, they gave me ten. It just looks like there's more than ten. And again, because some of these chicken wings are huge. There's my hand, and there's the chicken wing. That is a big chunk of chicken. So let's open up this honey uh, barbecue. Oh boy. These are called flats, and these are called drummets. They're both the wing. So I like to twist. These ones are well done i like them a little bit less well done than this no it's really cool and you got to try this next time you go to a restaurant and you want your wings ask them to finish the wings off on the grill mm. then you get that barbecue backyard barbecue flair to them not just deep fried finished on the grill that is good man i'm liking that a lot all meat going in for the dip there you go that is a really nice barbecue honey barbecue sauce so again these are much harder to pull apart and get a chunk of meat although looks like Costco doesn't uh, doesn't buy these small chicken wings they got the big chicken wings look at all that Again, next time you're at a restaurant, ask them to finish your wings on the grill. You will not ever do it any other way. It's just after 12 noon, finished my lunch. I had a great 24 hours stealth camping here at Costco in Barrie. Uh, if you head up Costco in Canada, make sure you try the poutine. It's probably the number one thing on the menu. Uh, other than that, if I was to come back again and do a lunch, I definitely want to grab that $1.50, uh, um, either the, the Polish sauce. I think the Polish sauce is better than the hot dog in my, in my uh, experience. Just had to put the mustard on there. If they had sauerkraut, that would be even better. But uh, the pole sausage and drink for a buck fifty is like the ultimate deal, and uh, you might want to share the, um, the the poutine though, because that's a lot of food. I want to thank all you guys out there who support this channel through views, thumbs up, comments, sharing, becoming a channel member, helping me out on my Patreon. All you guys are amazing supporters of my uh, channel. I couldn't do it without you. If you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that wicked playlist I put down over there for your amusement and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.